Hey, what's up, folks? How's it going? This is Wadro. You guys are all doing well. And in this video, we're going to be addressing the issues of solid state hard drives. Now, obviously, we know SSDs are much faster than mechanical hard drives, but these days, there's quite a bit of types of SSDs that are available to you for building your ultimate PC. Now, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at three of the most popular type of SSDs available, including the very popular 2.5 inch SSD drive versus an M.2 flash storage versus a PCI Express SSD drive. So, so let's actually take a look at all three of these, see which one comes out faster in terms of read and write performance, and see which one is going to give you the most bang for your dollar. So let's get right into it and find out what type of SSD is best for you. Now in terms of specifics, we're using the Patriot Ignite 2.5 inch drive. This is actually a 480 gigabyte version. So one of the great things about 2.5 inch SSD drives is since they've been around for quite a while, you could typically find their pricing to be a little bit more competitive than the other type of SSDs we're gonna be taking a look at, but we will get into pricing in just a moment. Now the M.2 drive that we're gonna be using is the Kingston HyperX Predator. This is basically a 240 gig flash storage device that can either interface with a direct m.2 slot on your motherboard or you can typically uh, adapt m.2 modules to a pci express card and interface it with the motherboard that way moving forward the pcie adding card that we're going to be using is from intel it's the 750 series card and this is basically very similar to the m.2 module just interfaces with the pci express card uh, directly so uh, in terms of throughput theoretically this should be the fastest but we'll put that through the test now in terms the pricing itself we're going to be basing on existing amazon pricing right now now obviously uh, the price always fluctuate depending upon when you're watching this video and if there's kind of supply shortages and things like that but currently right now as you would expect a standard 2.5 inch ssd drive is definitely going to give you the most gigabytes for your dollar i got the patriot ssd drive for about 170 dollars which roughly equates to about 35 cents if you get the uh, 480 gigabyte version our kingston m.2 flash module cost us about about 85 cents uh, per gigabyte based on uh, the existing pricing right now we have uh, the 240 gigabyte version and our PCI Express adding card was about 97 cents per gigabyte so definitely the most expensive out of the other two and certainly if you want the most gigabytes for the dollar you're probably going to want to go with a standard 2.5 inch SSD drive but with all that said let's actually take a look at the performance differences between these three drives now we're going to be using AS SSD as the first benchmark which is going to essentially test our sequential read and write performance and here you can see the results basically the intel add-in card is certainly at the top it has a read performance of over 1.8 gigabytes per second and about just over one gigabyte a second in terms of write performance and when we take a look at the hyperx m.2 drive it gets a read performance about 1.3 gigabytes so it's not quite as fast as the intel and certainly quite a lot slower when it comes to the write performance of getting about 632 megabytes per second in terms of write speeds now the patriot ignite ssd is definitely uh, falling short in terms of the read and write performance about 370 roughly for both read and write performance and uh, certainly falling quite a bit far behind uh, compared to the other two type of drives when it comes to the sequential performance and just to give you guys another benchmark results i use a uh, crystal disk mark and found pretty much the same proportional results we get uh, generally uh, higher numbers over here based on the methodologies of this performance test but as you can see over here essentially even though you are paying a little bit more for an m.2 module or a pci express add-in card you are going to definitely get a higher uh, level of performance when it comes to sequential read and write speeds now let's move on to some more real world applications in terms of gaming basically i just did a test from the desktop to loading up a gameplay on a civilization beyond earth and uh, basically on the intel drive it took me about 22 2.1 seconds on the HyperX M.2 drive it uh, took me about 24.5 seconds and on the, the Patriot uh, SSD drive it took about 26.8 seconds so even though I don't think that people wouldn't mind just waiting two or three more seconds to load up their game but for you guys that uh, just want the fastest load times possible looks like you're definitely going to be interested in M.2 or PCI Express card. Now the last and final thing we'll test out is uh, just the boot time from a cold boot to getting into the desktop so pretty simple and straightforward 
forward an action that we do every day when we turn on our computer. Now, importantly, uh, basically all three of these drives have been mirrored. They're all running Windows 10 with the same PC hardware across all these drives. So the boot time on the Intel PCI Express add-in card took about 38.7 seconds, about 45.1 seconds on the M.2 drive, and our Patriot SSD drive took about 52.4 seconds to uh, go to the desktop from initial boot up. So definitely a lot slower than the other two drives. But uh, generally speaking, you can see over here that e even though, as we mentioned before, you are paying a little bit more for a PCI Express SSD card or an M.2 card, you will see significant performance upgrades from a standard SSD drive that you would typically find that are coming down in price. But again, it really depends on what you want. Do you want more performance or do you want the higher volume in terms of storage capacity? And the really awesome thing right now is that there's a great amount of selections and choices for exactly what you want to do. And mechanical hard drives are still great for long-term storage, but these days, since SSDs are coming down and down in price and we have solid state memory modules available to us, you're definitely going to have a bright future when it comes to uh, building an ultimate PC that will have not only a lot of storage capacity, but a pretty remarkable read and write performance as well. But definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'd love to know if some of you guys are actually interested in building a computer or even upgrading your existing computer to an M.2 SSD card or even a PCI Express card if your motherboard supports it. Just to let you guys know, we actually have a uh, complete a build guide series on how to make a ultimate gaming PC with an, a PCI Express add-in card. Definitely check out that full in-depth build guide on the channel. You'll also find a couple of other build guides in the description down below at a couple of different price ranges. So uh, definitely check back to the channel every once in a while. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you later. Take care.